Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Colmston Farm, here in Farming Simulator 22. Where I was just about to take my lovely newly leased and rented Combine Harvester up to Helgi's Field to do my oat harvesting. However, I've just noticed my head has disappeared. I loaded this all up in the last video and... Um, well, as you can see, one of these things does not belong here. Why is that on the roof there? This thing does some crazy things, ladies and gents. This has not been, this header is problematic. It glitches into the ground. There we go. Let's move that. Now, can I can I now lift it? And can we proceed to take it out of the farm? It doesn't seem to want to stay on the header trailer, provided for it which is a bit of a worry obviously right that should click on there right hopefully it stays now we can't be mucking about anymore with that I need to get to the field. We need to get the next bit of the harvesting done today. There, that's better. So yes, I figured for the rest of the harvest season, I would lease myself a lovely new combine. And head a trailer combination which might enable me to do some of these big fields a lot faster okay sounded like a fairly uh, simple straightforward decision initially But yeah, the, the, this header and trailer combination has given me quite a um, bit of trouble. Uh, now, am I going to do straw swapping? Straw dropping on this field? Maybe not. I've done the bales on the other field that we harvested in the last video. So yeah, I figured we'd give this lovely header a chance to perform for us today. And make slightly quicker work of some of these harp fields that need harvesting. the auger wagon over here as well as the uh, JCB fast track so hopefully if we need to unload any time we'll be able to do that fairly quickly 
Obviously, these oats will be going up to the grain mill over yonder. Um, not got far to travel, actually. Yeah, I figured I'd hire at least the class Axiom 8,900. We'd get a nice big harvester. Help us for the rest of the harvest season. Not that I've got a problem with my own harvester. My own harvester works very well. It's just obviously this thing's got a lot more power. Can use, can utilise a much bigger header. And also has a much bigger storage hopper. So I haven't got to unload quite as many times, which means I can just keep driving. Now, I did get the straw baling done over on field 20. Uh, I do need to collect those bales, though. They're not actually currently picked up. They're just laid on the field. Then, obviously, you need to get the rest of that field ploughed. Then I need to get the stones collected. And then we need to do all the, you know, lime spreading and stuff to make sure that field's all A-OK. -okay. I have installed, before starting today's recordings, I have installed a couple of uh, spreaders, spreader mods, because um, the animation seems to be broken on that other one, on the Amazony one that I have been using till now. So what I'm going to do instead is um, I'm going to maybe look at getting another one, a different machine to do the lime spreading in future. Lovely day, lovely July day here on the farm. I've also been thinking about what to do next. Our next big sort of project here on the map. Um, now that obviously we've got root harvesting capabilities and stuff, we've ticked that box. We need to figure out what we're going to be doing next or what we want to be working towards in the not too distant future. Well, what I'm thinking is I would maybe want to buy that area of land near the BGA. Okay. And what I would like to do on that area of land near the BGA is set up a vineyard. Start doing grapes and olives. Something else we can sell in our lovely farm shop for the um, tourists.
No. Are they getting close to full? We might need to empty in a second. Here we are then, Lambo time. Get the old pipe out ready. Let's go empty the harvester. There we are, nice and full. Right, let's make sure we know where this guy's going. The B. Not managed to fill the trailer, surprisingly. Banana. And carry on with the harvesting. Now the harvester's nice and empty, so pH value is bad. They need to do some lime spreading on this field then. Let the work carry on now for a bit because I want to do another job today. I want to take the mower and I want to do some mowing. I want to mow the sheep field, ladies and gents. And I'm not going to remove the sheep from the field either. We're just going to have to mow around them and approach this a little bit differently. Ultimately, when dealing with sheep, the best solution is to use as much speed and power as you can, because as Jeremy Clarkson has proved, using speed and power is a great way of rounding up and moving sheep. Okay, you might have a few casualties, but, you know, that's an acceptable loss. Um, Some, some, some losses are acceptable. Okay. And we're going to mow this field because what we ultimately want to do is we want to get some more grass. So watch your sheeps. Big mower man coming through here. I'm actually able to mow more grass now than I did 
last time I mowed this field. Because of course we've got the better mower now. This mower's amazing. Obviously, we would like to minimise how many sheep we run over and try and keep the number of casualties to the minimum whilst doing this. I mean, the good thing is, at least I'm using a mower and I'm not hooning around the field in a Subaru Impreza. <laughs> oh no, sheep! Bonk! People will be saying, why are you mowing the sheep's food away? Ah, it's to raise the environmental score a little bit more. Uh-oh, another sheep. Watch out! Splat! He's a murderer! I like that. I did like that when he was racing around the farm in his Subaru that time, time in the Grand Tour. Killed all the sheep. Oh yeah, but I'll be more worried about the windscreen, <laughs> he says. Well, it says for continuity, that's a lot harder to cover up. <laughs> oh no, dead sheep. More dead sheep. So I've got to get these sheep in that pen in the far corner in an exciting and exuberant YouTube way. Here we go. Speed and power, that's the solution. Nothing. I just get these stragglers. Don't go. Come on. Can't this. Listen, you can either round them up really slowly, which is quite boring television, or you can give it some of that. And if you give it some of that, which is exciting for the ladies and gentlemen, you're inevitably going to hit some sheep. You've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sheep. And broken the windscreen. I think the windscreen is the least of our worries, to be honest with you. Well, not really, not for continuity, because it's hard to cover that up. This isn't how they do it on the normal Well, film. how do they do it? Well, it doesn't crash it every five minutes. I haven't crashed it. But you have crashed it, and you've killed things now. Well, it's a bit. <laughs> oh, no! Please, don't, don't clap. He's a murderer. They... <laughs> They would have been jumpers by now, or Sunday lunch. It's not the end of the world. No, no, all right. Oh, spot. We've killed all the sheep, ladies and gents. But yeah, if we leave Oaty but Oat Face harvesting the oats. Um, That's not going to be too much of a problem. We can get the old uh, bent in here with the baler. The load of all the grass bales. And then we can take them and put them in the uh, bale stall. And then there's a tractor, a class tractor already at the bale stall that can come down here. And... Um, suitably... Harvest... He could well the the, the 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 tractor at the bale store can then move the grass up to the fermenting station. Calming.
think I've done really well. I think I've managed to run over all of the sheep. <laughs> we've managed to run over them all. They're very hardy though, these sheep. They, they survive being run over by the mower. You know, if they if they can't handle being hit, if they couldn't accept handle being hit by farming machinery, they wouldn't last very long, would they? So you've got to be able to, uh, you know, marmalise all your sheep. And then I'm also going to let him loose on the field here next door to the um, sheep. However, I'm probably going to let a worker do this. If I haven't already got a course programmed for this. Uh, field four, mallon collect. Is this field four? It is field four. But actually, what I could do There we go. He can now mow all this land brilliantly. Uh, that fella probably needs to move out of the way for a minute. With my trailer. In fact, actually, he could do. I'm just leaving that trailer there for a minute. Going and grabbing the bale trailer to get the straw bales. off of field 20. So today we're getting a little bit done. A little bit of multitasking. Try and get a few of these jobs done, put and pulled in. Obviously what I would like to be doing tomorrow is um getting mr helgi's field lime spreaded getting it digestate spreaded and then either direct drilling it with um and putting oil seed radish on it wow i'm getting significant slowdown in this part of the map for some reason Entirely sure why. Lots of straw Zoom around, pick these up. Potential here for a lot of bales. Nineteen, twenty. Um, got room for three more. And we're full. I need to go and empty again.
Swimming in this region of the map is absolutely killing my frame rate in game. Which is weird. Too many trees, maybe? Could be. Where's my Lambo? Let's go and empty Mr. Class. This is getting quite full. Damn, I'm full. So I'm guessing then that this trailer here actually holds twice as more than my auger wagon. Ah, you know why, don't you? You know why he can't reach the grain mill, ladies and gents? Because <laughs> uh, some dopey idiot forgot to actually connect the roads up for him. That should do it. Much better. Okay, which way is he going? Oh, he's decided he's going to be awkward and he's going to go that way, is he? Okay. So he's actually going the long way around the field. Meanwhile, my lovely, lovely class tractor of power. The Mama Jamma class tractor of power. Has uh, decided to give up the ghost. And not continue harvesting the field. <laughs> Gerald obviously went home early for lunch, I think. <laughs>
There we go, ladies and gents. About to finish the oat harvest. So we've harvested two fields today. We've done the barley and we've done the oats, so pretty good. Chewed. And there's a little bit down here that he missed. So we'll just uh, go and unload him so yeah why Just going to make this a little bit lower priority thing. He should now want to. Ta he should, in future, prefer to take. by the looks of it maybe he didn't take that route because he couldn't get that way we'll see give him some give him some alternate options in the future because I think the guy's driving all the way around the map in fact he's just turned up he's just rocked up now look Yeah, we've done a we've done a thing. Fortunately, he's still full. We go. We can unload both of them at the same time. Fantastic.
that will get our, uh, our our bakery up and running again now because we'll have flour oh yes we will have some flour how is we doing on flour speaking of flour grain mill we have got barley flour we have got oats baby We've still got the, um, uh, sorghum to come as well. So that's going to be a big bonus. So at least we'll be breaking bread again and, uh, I'm just going to do that now as well because he, he's, he, he's gone off for another random drive around the map. Instead of coming back to the field straight away, he's uh, elected to go and do something else a bit random. But yeah, we'll put some more oats in so that will make us quite a bit of flour. What are we missing? We are missing sugar, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. I knew we was missing sugar. So, harvesting has been completed. This field's now ready for re-prepping. Park near the bees. pH is bad. Nitrogen is not looking too spiffy either. Right, let's see if we can't put this header trailer back on the tractor. I know I'm going to put it on from the wrong side. I want to see if it actually corrects itself this time. That seemed to do something. So we'll be ready now for the next crops to be harvestable which will be the sorghum I feel 
think it's sorghum next. Uh, mower man's finished. Excellent job, mower man. Which means I can do some more baling now, off camera, ladies and gents. I can get these fields bailed up, picked up, all the stuff transported. And uh, I'll get the rest of the straw picked up off field 20 as well. That should probably see me through the rest of today. And then tomorrow when we come back, we can start doing some field prepping. Or re-prepping. Like I say, the next big project in the series will be getting into a position whereby I can buy that land near the BGA. And um, we can start thinking about slapping down some grapes and some olives. And moving into that business. Aren't we? I think that would be a good thing to do. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please go ahead, give me that thumbs up on the video if you have. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not doing so currently. Leave me your comments in the comment section down below. Share the video with everyone you can, everywhere you see fit. And uh, I'll see you all again very soon. But for now, here on Calmston Farm, cheerio, ladies and gents. Goodbye.